In upcoming video, I will talk about energy efficient houseplants for the hot climates. Hi, I'm Jot. We aim to build houses that produce way more energy than they consume. And in today's video, we'll talk about energy efficient home and energy efficient home plants. I will give you the magic trick in a second, but before that I want to show you an example. Let's say we are riding our car in the summer. And we let down the window and we put our hands out of the out in the air. Your hands will start to cool down. And my question is, what type of car should we buy to avoid that? It doesn't matter because if you're moving, your hands will like cool down. And it's the same with the house plan. What type of house plan should you use in a hot climate? It doesn't matter because your house in the, it's in the sun. It sounds stupid, but let me explain for a second. So sure, like the house plan, it counts, but it doesn't count that much. So the main idea is you should hide your house from the sun. And you can do that with a fast facade. And it's like a facade that doubles your wall. So let's say that's your wall. So we have a section here with the house. The pink is the insulation. Let me show you another image. And here we have the fast facade. See, like the red. So that's a facade that it's like four inch apart from the house, like 10 centimeters. So look, the purple is the house and the red is the fast facade. Imagine like a chimney, like an artificial chimney. So all of the heat that will start to heat up the house like uh, daytime and it will use the walls like a thermal mass for the evening. All of the heat will remain on the fast facade and it can jump over to the house because like it's a four inch gap and all of the heat the hotter it gets the more the house will cool down because one it's in the shade and the second one the hotter the facade will go then the stronger the chimney effect will become the more air the more cool air will enter the niche the house plan it counts it counts a lot but you shouldn't sacrifice like your favorite house plan or like your position of the living room bedroom or everything just because of the sun, you know? So it's like a 80-20 rule. You concentrate on the biggest thing. And what's the biggest thing? To not be in the sun. And you won't have to use air conditioning or you won't have to use that much amount of air conditioning. And uh, please write a comment below because I'm, I'm curious, like, what's your opinion about that? Let me show another example. So check out this section. Let's say in the outside it's like 35 degrees Celsius. I, I'm not sure how much is it in Fahrenheit. But let's say it's like hot. And if you wait like a few hours, then the facade will start to warm up. Let's say the facade goes to like 60 degrees Celsius. And let us go even further. So imagine the house is on piles. We have a deck and below the deck we have, for example, like bushes or like small trees. And the deck has bushes and trees near it. Like, let me show you an example to see the logic. Because the planted things are in shade and they evaporate in the same time because evaporation cools down things. And because it's shade, that means in the lower part, it's like a basement. It starts to function like a dungeon. Sure, I'm exaggerating here with the numbers to get the point. And the chimney effect will start to work. So the hot air will start to go up. It's like a simple chimney effect. See? So the difference will be like, sure, I exaggerated here to get the point, but it will be like a 45 degrees Celsius temperature. And the warmer it gets in the outside, the more the chimney effect will work and the more cool air will drag upwards. And sure, like the 45 degrees Celsius is kind of exaggerated, but at least we get the point. And here, does it count how it looks the house in the inside? What's the house plan? How it looks the kitchen compared to the basement or like dining room think about the architecture as a whole if you have the sun you don't fight it but you use the sun to cool down the sun if it makes sense look for example here let's say you have another section with the house and the pink it's like the insulation as well as in the other examples and look the blue arrows are the wind so the wind is blowing from the left to the right and here wait a bit i'm zooming in so the arrow symbolizes the pressure of the wind. And think about the wind, not like wind-wind, think about it like uh, a fluid. And because it can go backwards, it will start to go inside the building above the insulation. And what happens? It will start to warm up in the inside and it will start to cool down the house from above because you have the insulation, like the red one, you have the little arrows, that's like the flowing air, 
that will start to accelerate and above it you have a membrane or you have like the roof it doesn't matter but the main idea is if you have like a pressure let's say the pressure it's like one or like two at the left all of the air needs to go on the tiny surface or like the tiny section that means the air will actually will start to have a speed and that speed above the insulation and uh, below the membrane will start to cool down your house does it make sense you have air that cools down your house from above wait a bit i'm zooming out now does it matter how it looks the plan like the energy efficient plan for hot climates yeah sure it matter and it, it matters if you have like a flat roof it matters if it's like a undulating shape it matters if it's like a triangular shape it matters if you leave something that it lets out but does the house plan itself well like mess with our energy efficiency sure but it's not like 80 or 90 percent of the thing so again we need to think about houses building houses not think separately you know house door plan you have to think about the whole because even here if you think about it you have like the small pressure difference in air like let's say it's like a one mile per hour wind or like one two kilometers per hour it doesn't matter but because it will go out and it will be squeezed above the roof membrane and uh, between the insulation that means you will generate let's say wind in the inside see and it, it will cool down so in a place you make a fast moving cooler air than in the outside that was today's video and if you would like to see how to save a lot of money with cooling and heating bills and if you would like to see how to build premium houses for cheap then subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you in the next video and again subscribe bye bye